Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please check out some of my other videos when you're done watching this and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. But today is actually a vlog that might be kind of hard to do. Um, I'm currently here in Hiroshima and I am currently at the Atomic Dome Memorial site and it is actually one of the most emotional sites I've been to. I don't want to film too much because I feel like I'm taking away from the emotional like level this is at like it's very hard to be at emotionally it's very sad and you can almost feel the pain of the site if that makes sense so I took some clothes I'll put them here and then I'm going to continue just walking around the memorial park and show you guys what that's all about dome um, was the center of the explosion. They explain how some walls remained, something to do with the fact it was almost dropped. I don't really know, um, but they do have the building preserved and it is used as a memorial site obviously. Um, there's a lot of other memorial sites as well along with the museum, so I'm going to be going to check those out. It's really, like I said earlier, it's very emotional to be at. is the memorial to the mobilized students. So it was constructed by the families um, of the students who had left school to mobilize for the war effort here in Japan. So it was constructed to not only give memoriam, but also give them their souls a resting place. There's a voiceover that explains it all. So if you come here, definitely listen to it because my explanation does not do it justice. So all around this whole memorial park, there's a big motif of the paper crane, and I just found out it's for peace. So it's paper cranes for peace, and they have this whole thing over here. And this, it's just full of cranes, paper cranes, and you can, I think you can pay for one, and it goes towards various charitable organizations. I think, can't read the Japanese that well. And I would have bought one, but they're closed. So I couldn't actually buy one, which was kind of sad. But that explains why there's paper cranes all over the place. So this rock right here was a gravestone that actually had been here since the 1600s. And it was toppled over during the atomic blast, which is why it is only this lower part now. So the monument behind me was erected to help memorialize the lives of the Koreans that lost their lives during the atomic bomb but also in the war in general. Uh, according to the plaque, about 20,000 Koreans lost their lives in Hiroshima alone and so they built this memorial which is covered with paper cranes also as a memoriam to their lives that are lost because many of them did not receive a funeral. I'm going into the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum right now. Um, I'm not sure if I'll vlog because I know museums aren't the most interesting vlog to watch, but if anything is interesting, I will include it in this.
just left the Hiroshima Memorial Peace Museum and it was honestly one of the most important museums I think I've ever been to in my life and if you're in Hiroshima you can't not come I think it was so important and it really gave I don't know I can't even like put words to like how impactful it was it was so good and I'm not even gonna mention the price because it doesn't matter price should not be a factor in visiting that museum if I'm being completely honest so yeah I'm gonna take a nice walk and recap and think about what I just saw in that museum I'm going to the Hiroshima castle and I'll explain why one sec so my camera just died so I'm on my phone now I haven't put it on the tripod yet if you couldn't tell but I'm going to the castle now because it also is a part and part of the atomic bomb devastation here in Hiroshima because it was leveled and they rebuilt it so I figured today was a, as good of a day as any to go to this castle so I currently am sitting on these steps um, outside right in the gate of Hiroshima castle and I'm just taking a breather. I've walked around so much today and I've been up and I didn't get much sleep last night because I got in late. So I'm just sitting here and I'm gonna eat a cookie and then continue my walk around. Um, yeah, I think the entrance to this is free and there's a few things to do. So I'm pretty excited to take you guys along with me. So I finished my cookie and now it's time to head into the castle. So all throughout the grounds of the castle, you can see where the bomb destroyed buildings. So pretty much what I've seen all of the buildings are, they did not rebuild except for the tower, which I'm actually coming up to right now. So because I'm a student here, a foreign student studying here in Japan, I actually got it for free, which is great. But it's only 300 yen anyway, so it's not that expensive, but still. So I'm not supposed to take photos of the exhibits. I think that this was okay. Apparently this castle was built in the whole city of Hiroshima. It used to be a big sandbar. So they have videos here going over how they corrected said sandbar and made it not sandbar-y. Is this the kitchen? There's like four stories of this museum in this also, which is an added side thing. So I'm currently at the top of the tower on their observation deck. And it's a perfect day to be out here. There's no moon. It's clear, it's sunny, it is so pretty, and I'm gonna stop talking and just show it to you guys. It's so pretty. <laughs> lucky with the weather today. It's not cold. As you can see, I'm wearing a cardigan and I'm sweating in that. It's sunny. It's beautiful. I can see mountains. I can see so far. I feel so blessed right now to be here on top of this very tall tower for free. I'm gonna make a stamp. Get our paper. Get a stamp thing. This tree right here is the eucalyptus tree. It's cool because I've never seen one before. But even cooler is that, and more remarkable, 
is that this tree survived the atomic bomb in 1945. And that is the coolest thing. So I'm going to end this video here. I'm not visiting any more um, historical sites tonight. So I don't see the point in filming since this vlog is about historical sites uh, here in Hiroshima. Um, I hope I was able to convey to you guys how emotional visiting the atomic bomb sites were, especially the museum. I couldn't even talk about it, which is why I didn't. It was so touching, and I guess the thing was, was being American, I learned about it in school for almost every year I think I talked about it. That it never, what we didn't talk about was the actual effects here in Japan of the atomic bombs. So seeing the effects and seeing people's injuries and their lives ruined was like, it really dawned on me like the severity. Like I knew it was really severe, but we never looked at photos and we never looked at it from the Japanese perspective. So being able to experience that was just so emotional. It was crazy. Anyway, I hope I was able to convey that throughout this. I've never done a vlog where like such a tragedy has happened. And it was really hard to do because I wasn't sightseeing. Like that wasn't my intention of coming here just to sightsee. Like I came to Hiroshima specifically to learn more about the bomb's effects. Um, and I was able to do that. And I hope that that was showing through in my video. Um, if you did make it this far, comment down below what the most emotionally draining place you've ever been to has been and why. I would love to hear your experiences. Um, yeah, so give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on how I did with this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. People are making me feel weird. I so rarely feel weird.